Good morning, Camp Red Campers. Wait, is this a piano? <laughs> yes, it is. Welcome to the Good late night. <laughs> Good evening, Camp Red Campers. Welcome to day 4 p.m. edition of Camp Red News. I'm Jeff. And I'm Zach. And we have a nice closing for you. But first, a reminder. The envelope that was in your kit. Get those family quilt squares sent and we will make a fancy, beautiful tapestry. We're going to take them and staple and glue and yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll put it together. First up on our evening, we have a message from the one and only Jake LaFleur. Jake LaFleur. Jake the, the guy. Jacob LaFlan. Jake LaFloundering. Jake LaFlalala. Jake, take it away. Hey, Camp Runners. I just wanted to send over a note of um, gratitude and appreciation and, and wanted to thank everybody for joining us for this year's Camp Red virtual experience. Um, I also wanted to say I'm really sorry that we couldn't meet in person and have a lot of fun down on the waterfront and do what we normally do as a family and, and as a Camp Red family and as a team. And, and um, I wanted to let you know that we got a lot of fun things in store, uh, in store for, your, for all of us in the near future. And we are going to get together and, and be able to, uh, you know, do all these fun activities soon. But just wanted to take a moment to let you know that I, I miss you all. And uh, it was great seeing a lot of you on the Camp Red videos and um, on the Zoom meetings. And and I uh, just wanted you to know that, you know, Firefighters for Healing and, and Jake and our team and Chris and, and everybody loves you. And we're sending big hugs. Um, we're keeping you in our prayers and sending well wishes over you for everybody to have a safe and healthy rest of the year. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing you next year, but uh, very soon in the near future at some things that we have planned. So. I uh, look forward to seeing you soon. See you, campers. Yeah! 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 Time to see what's cooking around Camp Red. Yeah! That would be sweet. Cool. Hey, guys. Um, one of our fa favorite family recipes are special K-bars. The ingredients you will need are just regular milk chocolate ch chocolate chips, and then you need butterscotch chocolate chips, and then you need um, corn syrup, and then you need um, peanut butter, sh white sugar, and you'll need um, special K. We're gonna be adding a cup of sugar. The next ingredient you need is a cup of corn syrup. So next we added peanut butter, and now we're boiling all the ingredients together, and then we'll add this to um, cereal. We're adding chocolate chips into the bowl. Some are butterscotch, some are just regular chocolate chips. Good job, bud. Now it's time to add in the chocolate chips. You eating some? Sometimes you Now we put the bars down into the pan. Now we melt the chocolate chips for a minute. These are our family's special K bars, and the biggest job is keeping them away from Dr. G. Thank you, Gake and family. Now let's check in on the submissions from the rest of Camp K. Here we have the Theo family, and Cadence, turns out, is an avid baker. Here she is with brownies and sprinkles. Turns out they're also taco fiends. They try to do tacos twice a month. I'd call them fiends, but then that would also apply to me. Love them. Now the Landgraf family sent us a recipe for some crepes. I've never made those before. I'm going to try, though. I doubt, however, I can make them look this good. Earning big points in the camping category is Kale, who's making his favorite food tacos, but in a very different way. See, he's making them over a campfire using those pockets that we used at Camp K to make pizza. Kale, give me a thumbs up if they're good. All right, buddy. Looks good. Tastes even better. 
Rounding out this carb fest are Evan and Avery who made French toast for breakfast by themselves. Their twist? They use peanut butter and syrup as a topping. Kind of like cookies and lemonade, but maybe not quite as strange. Here's what we're going to need for olives dressed up and no place to go. Carrots. Some cream cheese. Toothpicks. A knife. Parents can help with that part. Some large olives. Extra large is better. And medium olives. Let's go! First step. Take those baby carrots and you're going to slice little discs out of them. You want them to be flat because this is going to be our base and it will tip over otherwise. Next, after you've cut up those carrots, you're going to take and cut a little pizza shape looking slice triangle wedge out of each one of them. Hey, these kind of look like... Okay, the next step here is to take the large olives, cut it open, not all the way through, but open, and fill it with some cream cheese. You want it to be smooth around the edge. The next step, you're going to grab those medium olives and take that little triangle piece of carrot that you cut out from Pac-Man's mouth and put it inside the olive. Now for the grand finale, assembly. Take the medium olive with the carrot wedge in it, take a toothpick, and you're going to put that toothpick right through the top, right through the middle, down and push it through. Next, take your extra large olive with the cream cheese and place the toothpick right through the cream cheese straight down, have it pop out the middle. Finally, the base, take that carrot and put it right through the center, and voila, penguin! When you're done, when you're done they should, look should look something, look something like, like these this. little guys. And there you have it. Penguins in tuxedos, olives dressed up, and no place to go. But wait, these guys look like they're on their way to some sort of meeting. Where are you going, guys? Looks like some sort of penguin party. Well, that's all of for me. We'll see you later. All right, we have an update from the Schultz family. Tyler is in seventh grade now and is doing football. It's homecoming week for him, and he's excited to play in his first junior high high school football game of the season. He's worked really hard to make varsity for junior high and JV for the high school, which is awesome. He spent the summer fishing with his brothers and staying healthy. Tyler currently holds the state bow fishing record for short nose gar continues to work hard to prove burn scars and a trach don't have to hold you back. He turned 14 last week and is getting his driver's permit next week. Evan, his brother, is also in 7th grade and playing football for both junior high and high school and is one heck of a defensive lineman. He spent the summer fishing with his brothers and helping out around the house. Good for you, Evan. Michael Dean on the far right, is in ninth grade. He decided not to do sports this year, but is working hard instead. He just bought a car after paying off his pickup truck and is loving his license. He spent the summer working and fishing. He continues to be a huge support for Tyler and will be enrolling in the high school EMT program later this year. Get after it, Michael. As for the rest of the family, Karina... The older sister is a senior in high school this year and doing college courses to get part of the requirements for mortuary science done and continues to work through her Crohn's journey. The boy's oldest brother, Cameron, moved to Moorhead and is really loving it up there. Good for you, Mom and Dad, for keeping up with your busy kids. Thanks for the update, Schultz family. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for all week long, the music video featuring your red strings and all of our Camp Red friends. Hey Check Camp out. Red! This is Alana, or as a lot of you guys call me, Moana. And I just wanted to say that I miss all of you so much and I hope that you're having really great summers and I really hope that I get to see you all next year.
campers, Dr. G here with my little man, Cole. Hope you had a great week at Virtual Camp Red. Looking forward to another great year. We'll see you at camp next year. So I far, got so it. Okay. I was the first to interview. Yeah, you were. Ooh, a cool piece of art on the wall there, Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Camp Red families, what a roller coaster you ride this year has been. Nothing can replicate being together, but we hope this helped tie us together and brought a smile to your faces. Thank you to everyone who helped us pull this version of camp off. Our counselors, volunteers, staff, Camp Knudsen, and the Minneapolis Fire Department. Thank you parents, guardians, grandparents, and everyone who has gone above and beyond this year to help bring Camp Red to you. Not only have you been teachers this year, but camp directors too, and we thank you. Our Camp Red family is so important to us, and making sure you still feel like you're a part of that family was our goal, especially this year. When things get tough, we lift each other up. That's what family does. So Camp Red family, we wish you all well and look forward to 2021. And remember, this is good night and not goodbye. I'm gonna linger a little longer, a little longer with you. And come September, I will remember the camping days and friendships too. And as the years go by, I think of you inside. This is goodnight and not goodbye. This is goodnight.